You can use Knowledge Studio's Novelty and Outlier Detector node to flag anomalies in a dataset. Here we have connected census data to the Novelty and Outlier Detector node and trained a model. Let's configure the node. We can select from three different methods for detecting outliers. Isolation Forest, Local Outlier Factor, and One Class SVM. We have selected the columns shown in the right pane to train our model. We select hyperparameters on this page, estimators, contamination, maximum samples, maximum features, and bootstrap. On the next page, we can select which datasets will be placed on the Knowledge Studio Canvas. We can select the dataset with outliers included, or the dataset without outliers, or both. In the right pane, we see the columns that will be included in the processed datasets. We have placed both datasets on our canvas. Let's look at the dataset with outliers in more detail. This dataset contains 16,281 rows. We see two new columns generated by the Novelty and Outlier Detector node, Anomaly Score and Opposite Anomaly Score. Anomaly scores of less than 0.5 are inliers. As the score gets closer to 1.0, it is considered an anomaly. The other data set is identical to the first one except all the outliers have been removed. We can see that while the data set with outliers contained 16,281 rows, the data set without outliers contains only 16,031 rows. Knowledge Studio's Novelty and Outlier Detector node has removed all the outliers.